It was cold that day in June, though I knew, yes I knew, that the sun was like the day before. Alright, what's up guys? So today I have a uh, another tutorial for you all, and this one's gonna be on screen pumps and after effects, and uh, pretty much all it is is um so it's like this little uh, this little scale factor, right? And it it scales up the clip, and um, depending on your song, it'll uh, it can scale up to every beat, or it can scale down to every beat. But usually people go and scale it up, so uh, that's what I'm gonna be teaching you how to do. Also, I'm gonna show you like a little um, a little trick I use, as in like a, a shake expression. So uh, it's not just gonna be using S underscore shake, you know, it's pretty generic. So I'm gonna teach you. Um, couple things uh, basically how I do my screen pumps and shake and uh, a little a little uh, little tricks that uh, I usually do with them so uh, yeah let's get right into it so if you uh, if you followed my last tutorial which is on uh, uh, syncing with Twixter you'll have this clip and it will be perfectly synced so um, this is this is gonna be your clip and it's gonna be uh, perfectly synced so if I ran preview this it'll look like this It won't have, it obviously won't be the same clip, but it'll uh, have the same, basically, you know, it'll be pretty much the same as in the, the flow and everything. So, the uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag on transform, uh, which is basically, uh, I cannot, not type today, uh, transform. So yeah, I'm going to drag on transform onto your clip, and it'll come up as an effect. Uh, the reason we want that is because if we just use scale uh, normally on the clip, it's not going to. Uh, hold on a second, what is this? Sorry, I have to put it under the under the twister. So if we scale it up, it should. Yeah. Okay. So um, it'll look like this. Uh, usually, my starting scale is going to be 104. Um, sometimes I like 105, but uh, it gets a little bit blurry, so I just go with 104, whatever you think is better. Um, so you're going to keyframe the scale, and then you're going to go uh, 6 frames ahead of that. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And once you're at 6 frames ahead, you're going to change it to, um, you can either do 5, uh, like 5 units up, or you can do 10 units up. Uh, basically how, uh, how like potent you want the screen pumps to to just like pump in the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and use 111 uh, actually nah, I like 112 nah sorry I'm, I'm, I'm really picky oh whoops I'm really picky when it comes to this stuff so once you have your um, uh, these two uh, ready you're gonna do command or control C and it's gonna copy them and all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to every marker of the beat that you want to uh, to put it at and you're gonna do command uh, control V I don't know what it is on Windows but I'm just using on the Mac or whatever so uh, control V uh, go to each little uh, beat control V so it'll be control V so it'll be control V control V uh, it doesn't really matter on the last clip but I do it just because uh, so now, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to position, okay? And uh, if, if it's scaled up at 104, you should be fine. But uh, if it's not, you're going to you're gonna have to work around this. So what I like to do, it's kind of subtle, but not really. So I'm going to use, basically on every beat, I'm going to want, it, I'm gonna want it, uh, the clip to go from left to right, but more or less pretty subtle, okay? So I'm going to keyframe position. And I'm gonna change it to um, 620, and as you can see, it slid it over a little bit. So now I'm gonna go to the beginning marker right here, and I'm gonna change it to 660. That's gonna slide it over just a little bit. So um, it's kind of like a more, um, uh, I don't know, more upbeat kind of pace. So all you do, the way you can remember what it is, is just uh, if it's not 660, it's 620. And if it's not 620, you're going to change it to 660. So 620, and you're just going to repeat this pattern. And keep in mind, you can also use whatever um, whatever uh, values you want to. Just depends on what uh, how you think it fits best with the song, or just your editing style. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 660 right here. And last one. 620. Alright, cool. So you have all of these. Um, and I'm just gonna push you again so you can actually see all the keyframes. And now, since all of these uh, keyframes, they're not uh, like they're not easy east. So all you're gonna do is click and drag over them. Hit F9 on your keyboard, or all you have to do is click right click, keyframe assistant. Hit easy ease, and that's all you have to do to easy ease them. Now, this is where it really depends on just how far you want to take it. So if you want to get really specific with your screen pumps, you're gonna select all of these and then go into your graph editor so let's say I'll select all of these go and then your graph editor will look like this now uh, I don't like to mess with this mess with uh, editing screen pumps uh, it works with velocity but I don't like doing it with screen pumps just because it kind of looks uh, a little bit I, don't know, I think it looks a little too fast so I'm just gonna leave it like that but keep in mind you can do this whenever you want to you can edit the, the graph editor uh, according to the keyframes so um, all I'm going to do is uh, the last thing if I uh, render this real quick oh. wait, I'll wait for this to finish rendering real quick yeah I'll be back when it's done rendering alright cool so it's done rendering let's see how this looks so yeah, as you can see, I think it looks actually pretty clean. Like, that's how I would do my screen pumps. Um, but depending on whatever your style is, you can change it up however you want to. Uh, this is basically just setting it up uh, for however you want to. Uh, Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do is a little, uh, little shake or wiggle, you can call it. So, for this one, all I'm going to do is hit... Um, I'm gonna hit uh, P and then I'm gonna hit Shift R. Make sure you're holding Shift so you can bring both of them. And I'm gonna link some. Uh, I want to put some expressions in the description so you don't have to just copy it exactly. But um, yeah, so you're gonna want to hold Alt and click on Position, and then um, and then you're gonna type in Wiggle a bracket um, or parentheses. My bad, parentheses. So. All you have to do, there are two two values, okay? So the first one is how many times it moves, and then the, the second value is the degrees or like how how far it moves off of the the normal, like how like the position of it. So I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a very slow like basic wiggle. So I'm gonna do uh, 1.5, and then here you go and do comma to separate it, and then I'm gonna do 15 so that means it'll be pretty subtle okay so if you click off a bit uh, you can see it's already wiggling a little bit now for rotation um, this is where you have to be careful so I'm gonna hit wiggle parentheses I like doing 1.5 comma 2 so let's see how that looks so it might look a little bit off at first but you just have to tweak around with it to see what it looks like so I'll, I'll get back to you when it's done rendering Alright cool, so it's done rendering, let's see how this looks. Okay, so I actually really like that. I like guess it's, it's not fast, but it's definitely noticeable, but not too not too abrupt, so let's let's just watch that again real quick. So what I really like about it is that as it moves beats, it kinda like goes to the right and up and then it kind of goes to the left and up so if you look right here like look at the uh, like the bullets and just see how it's kind of like drifting a little bit like it's drifting every beat that's what I really like about this kind of shake uh, combined with the screen pumps I think it's really nice so um, yeah just tweak around with it and find what you like uh, so yeah that's been my tutorial on screen pumps shake and a little bit of wiggle and a kind of a couple uh, tricks here and there so yeah, that's uh, that's it, guys. Um, hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, even though th know there are a lot of other tutorials again, uh, just like this one. But uh, this one is, I think, I don't, I don't, I don't, but I, I've not seen anyone do a kind of tutorial like this. So uh, yeah, uh, 
If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let's see if we can get to 3.5 likes today. Um, yeah, that's been it, guys.